leg workout. Is everybody ready? Yeah, we're going to do legs. So not only just working the calves, not only just working the thighs, not only just working the butt, but working every muscle in your lower half. So march it out for me because before we do, before we work the muscles, we've got to warm up, don't we? Okay? A little bit more energy. Come on, pick up the pace. And by the way, I was reading a magazine the other day and they said, latest research shows that there are about 36% as opposed to 64% of women, 36% of men that stand up and do aerobics. Come on guys, get up. Get up out of that chair. What do you think? Everyone's got to do it, don't you reckon? All right, so march it out. Four more counts. Four and three and two. Step touch here for me. Big steps. Come on, make it a little bit harder, a little bit stronger. Four and three and two. Leg curl now. Now you're kicking your heel right up to your butt and feeling that move. Now if you want to concentrate a little bit more on legs, squeeze the back of the hamstrings. That's it. Four more. Four and three. Back to your step touch. Let's go. Step touch. Three. That's it. Get down a little bit lower into the legs. And back to those leg curls. Leg curls. So we're moving sideways. What about moving forward? Walk forward. Let's go. And take it back. And again, come on down. Try and use as much of the room as you can. Four more. Four. Two more times. We do that. We do three knees at the end. Yeah, let's go. Four forward, three knees. And take it back. How did that go? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Now lift your knees up a little bit higher because we want to work the muscles through the legs. Come on. That's the way. Now come down a little bit further. Let's go. Four forward. Give me three knees. And back. One more time. Of course, you've got to take it back, don't you? Here we go, back to the move we began with. Step touch, go, big step. Leg curls, reach out. One more time, make it big. Step touch, and the leg curls. Who's ready? Forward, far as you can. Three knees, and take it back, come on. Now I want you to put a little bit more energy into your moves. Come on, I don't want to see like you just got out of bed. Even if you have, you want to slowly wake up your body. Come on, wake up. That's it. Come on down. Three knees. Four forward and three. And take it back. Did you drink your energy juice this morning? Come on. One more time. Stopping on the spot. Give me a heel tap. Push it out. Let's go. Push it out. Hard as you can. Push that heel right out and lengthen out the legs. Push it away from you. We've got eight more counts. Come on. Pulling your abdominals in and relaxing your shoulders. Take it out to the side. Here we go. Push it out. That's it. Fire away from you as you can. Come on. You've got eight more counts. Here we go. Eight and seven, six. One more place to go. Okay. Take it to the back of the room. Let's go. Push it back. Push it back. Now lengthen out your body. Don't crouch. Lengthen and lengthen. Eight counts. As you do this, squeeze your butt because we said we're working your butt muscles today. Is that right? Take it back out to the front. Let's go. Push it out. Push and push. Keep going. How many more to go? Four and three. Two. Now push it out to the side. Come on, lengthen. Take those arms out a little bit longer. You are using your arms as well, aren't you? Take it back behind you. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more counts. Come on. Four. Three. Two more. Are you ready? Stop on the spot and bend the stretch. Go bend and up. Bend. Working through the butt. Just little tiny ones to begin with. We'll do the hardest squats a little bit later. That's it. Two more. Take one leg out in front of you and drop low. Go low and up. Low. Make sure your knees stay pointing right forward to the front of the TV. Four more. Four. Three. Two more. Ready? Change legs. Other leg in front. Go down. Down. And up. Little squats, not too low. Your heels, make sure you keep them both on the floor. You've got another four. Four, three, two to go. Two, ready, stretch it out. Leg out in front, grow tall. And relax. Hand on your bent leg. Don't put it on your straight leg. We know this by now. Doing it there is going to put too much pressure on your knees. So cross it over to the bent leg and hold that stretch. Chain sides. Stretch it out. You must be feeling a little bit tired and breathless now because that was quite a good warm up. So I want you to go grab a drink. And when you come back, what are we going to concentrate on? Your legs, helping you to get luscious legs. See you soon.
you're still doing those stretches, this is your calf stretch. So I want you to push your heel right down to the floor and grow your body tall. Now if your heel lifts off the ground, you're doing nothing. Put it on the floor, feel that stretch working all the way through the calf muscles and hold it there just for a few more counts. We've done the other side already. Well, hopefully you did, especially kept on doing it during the break. So let's stretch out the quads. So I want you to push your knees together and push your hips forward. Can you think of the first exercise we're going to do for legs? What's the first exercise we always do? Squats, Miss Mia says, and she's right. And why do we always do squats first? Because out of all the exercises you can do for your legs without using any equipment, it's one of the biggest calorie burning exercises that you can do. Not only is it the biggest calorie burning exercise, but it's one of the exercises that works the most muscles in your body. So we're going straight down and straight up. And our first squats are going to be narrow squats. So feet about hip width apart and we're going straight down and up. Let's add some arm play. Squat down and up. Stick your butt out behind you. Keep your chest up nice and tall and don't go down too low. Imagine you're about to sit on a chair and then you change your mind, you stand up again. That's it. Give us another eight more counts. Let's use the arms. Eight, seven. Now the arms are a little bit too hard. You can put your hands behind your back and do it like that. So that's the beginner's version. Four more. Three more. Are we all ready for this? Because we're going to stay down low. It's going to hurt, but we're going to do it. Come on, low and low. Pulse it low. Don't come up next. <laughs> we're feeling it. Come on, eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. All right, you're going to bring right leg in. Let's go. Bring it in. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze your thighs together. That's it. Feeling a burning sensation all the way around the thighs. Don't worry. It's okay. We're almost there. Four and three. Two, change sides, other side. I don't want to let you know what people are doing behind us. They're doing it too because they too want to get fit, don't you? Yeah? That's it, four more. Four and three. Oh, we had enough. All right, turn your feet out, take it nice and wide. Now working through the wide squat to work more your inner thighs. Down and up we go. Let's go. Okay. So just changing your movement very slightly by turning your feet out can change the area of the muscle that you're working. So right now, working inner thighs, it's very, very important that you do it with good technique. Good technique means I want you to keep your knees pointing over your toes. Don't let your knees push forward to the front of the room. That's it. Give me another eight more counts. Come on. Eight, seven. Now squeeze your butt as you come up. That's it. Squeezing. Four more. Four, three, two more. Two more counts. Everybody ready? Keep it low. Let's go. There's a fan above your head. Come up, it'll chop your head off, yeah? It'll cut your hair short, so I want you to stay low. Eight more counts. Eight, six, five, four, three, stay low. Heels off the ground with Mia. One, and two, and three. Come on. Mia's going, ow, ow, you're hurting Mia. Oh no, we're gonna see how long we can make her do it for. Miss Mia, we're gonna keep you here for another 16 counts. How's that going? Say ow, ow, ow. <laughs> come on, come on. You can do it. Only four more counts. It's not hurting, Mia. What are you talking about? It doesn't hurt. Four, three, two. All right, shake it out. Are you ready? We're going to do lunges next. Great leg exercise lunges. And Mia said at the beginning of the show, don't do too many. Okay? But because we like doing lunges, we're going to do some anyway. Straight down and up. Down and up. Poppy likes lunges, don't you? Yeah, she does. Straight down and up. When you do your lunges, I want you to imagine the teacup on the floor, just underneath your knee. And you've got a tea bag hanging off your knee, and you're gonna dunk that tea bag right into your teacup on the way down, okay? Eight more counts. So come on, your tea's not strong enough. Keep dunking that tea bag right into the teacup. That's it. Got another four counts to go, you can do it. Four, three, two more, two. Not too many, you see, Miss Mia? Change sides. Other side, ah. Oh. Back heel off the ground, make sure your technique is good before you start, abdominals in. Let's go straight down and up, down and up. Come on, where's that tea bag? Dunk it into the teacup. Keep going, we have eight more. Eight counts, seven. Try not to lock the front knee, keep it slightly bent. Putting the load onto your legs. Making our legs longer and leaner and firmer, is that right? One more time. All right, next leg exercise, shake it out first. Working into the lower part of our legs. Calf raises, hands on the hips. Straight up, straight down, let's go. Right up. Very easy exercise, but sometimes a little bit difficult to balance. How are we going, Ollie? What do we do if we can't balance? We hold on to a friend. Yeah. yeah? So you go like this, and you go, whoop, 
And then you get someone to do a bit of exercise with you. Doesn't that make exercise a bit more yeah. energy, enjoyable? Sure does. Yep. So grab your friend along with you and make them do it with you, yeah? We're working our calf muscles. So the muscles all the way at the bottom of the legs. I'm going to do another four more. Can we do that? Yes. Four more. Three more. Two to go. Oh, it's even harder if you've got a friend with you. All right, shake it out. We're going to have a little stretch because we have worked those muscles hard. First, concentrating on that calf stretch that we did right at the beginning. And very soon we'll get down onto the ground and do some more exercises on the floor. Are you ready? Let's change legs. Calf stretch. Now this stretch is working through the top part of your calf. If you want to work the lower part of your calf, slightly bend the leg a little bit more. Keep your heel on the floor. Keep doing those stretches. When you come back, we'll get down onto the floor and concentrate into those muscles a little deeper. See you soon. Are you down with us? Well, what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to make those muscles burn even more, yes? No, you haven't had enough. Rolling onto your side. I don't want you to sit like this, okay? Because then all your muscles are going, oh, I've gone to sleep. I want you to wake them up, lengthen up. We're going to go in and out. In fact, you don't always have to sit up like this. If you're starting to get a little bit tired, the best option is to go a little bit lower. And you can even put your head on the ground if you want to. And that's going to help you to keep your spine nice and straight. Now, I'm going to bring my head up because I want to be able to focus on what everyone behind me is doing, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Picking on me today. Four more. Bring your knee right up to your chest, please. Straight up and in. Come on. Now, as you push your leg out, imagine you're closing a door that's open at the side, and I want you to push it closed with your heel. Come on. We've got another four more. Four. Three. Push it out. Don't let it touch the floor. We're going to lift and drop. Let's go. Lift and drop. Imagine I'm watching you back home. You can't give up. Your foot is not allowed to touch the floor. Come on, you can do this. If we can do it, they can do it. Is that right? Come on, a little bit of determination goes a long way. A little bit of motivation. Where do you know? Summer's already here. And you're going to look fantastic. Four more. Three. Two more. Two. Back to the beginning. Straight in and out. Let's go. In and out. Bring it in and out. Come on. A little bit closer to your chest and push it right out behind you. Four more. Three more. Two more. That's the way. You're going to lift and drop one more time. Let's go. Eight more counts. Are we feeling this yet? Yes. It feels like there's a fire burning in your legs. Yes? Four more. Four. How do we snuff out that fire? Two. We stop. That's it. Lengthen out. Now I want you to give your legs a little bit of a massage there and shake it out. Oh. We're going to change sides. Come on. Other side. You can't do the one leg and not the other, can you? So rolling onto your side. The first thing we did was in. And what are we going to do, Vanessa? Out. Let's go. In and out. Push your heel back. Imagine you're closing that door with your heel. Come on. Push it out. We've got eight, seven, six, five. Hey, hey. Four more. Can't give up. Three. Two to go. I'm going to have a little rest, but your foot's not going to Hold it out, check your technique, turn your toe down, heel up, lift and drop. Come on. That's it. Keep it lifting up high and pull your tummy in. I'm going to go a little bit lower. You can do what you choose to do. Remember about your spine. If you want to keep your spine straight or if you have a neck injury, better to keep your neck, your neck nice and straight. That's it. Eight more counts. Come on, let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Does it hurt more on this leg than the other one? Oh! We can't stop there, can we? No! Okay, bring it into your chest. Let's go. I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, what have I started? I can't show you that I've got to give up, so I've got to keep going. And so right at home, you've got to keep going too. I'll tell you what, if you keep going, I'm going to give you eight more counts to go. Lift and drop. Go. Eight. Seven. Yeah, I know you're feeling it. Six. Five, four more. Four. Feels like you've got leads in your shoes right about now, yes? One more time. And one. All right. Lengthen it out. Just relax those muscles. Had enough? Yeah, me too. So we're going to roll onto our tummy. Roll onto your knees and put your elbows on the floor. Once your elbows on the floor, we're going to kick in and out. Favorite exercise. Let's go. And they're all going, oh yeah, yeah, Kelly, this is our favorite. <laughs> of course it's our favorite exercise. Why do we do it? Come on. 
As you do this exercise, I want you to pull your tummy in tight. Is your tummy in tight? Yes or no? Tell me the truth. Come on, pull it in. Let's go. Bring it in and out. In and out. Don't let everything all hang out now. Keep all those muscles tight. You've got eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, team. Come on, team. We can't give up. Two more. Two. And one. You can relax, everyone. Stretch it out. Does that feel good or what? Yeah, good stretch. And we're ready. Let's turn around and do the other leg. In fact, you don't have to turn around. You can stay exactly where you are. In and out. And bring it in and out. Now push your heel right back. Closing that door behind you. As you push back, squeeze your butt, Poppy. How's that going? <laughs> do we want a more firm and toned and shapely above? Come on. You want a peach bum, not a pear bum. So come on. Let's get those peach bums happening. Four more. Four more counts. Three. I'll tell you what, this is hurting. Two. I think we all need a break. So sit back, stretch it out. Lie there for a little bit and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. exercises that effectively stretch all the way through the butt and the quads, okay? Some people go, oh, how do I stretch this part? I'm going to show you a very good stretch to do. What I want you to do is come up just like this, cross that one leg right over. Can you do that? <laughs> there you go. A bit of a strange stretch. You might never have done this one before, but a great one to do. Now take your legs out behind you as far wide and apart as you can. And I want you to imagine that you're going to sit your both butt cheeks right down into the middle of both legs. So slowly down. Yeah, have a little laugh when you do it. Always helps. And once you're there, you hold it. Ah, we got it. Are we both butt cheeks on the ground? You promise? There you go. Now you smile and you pretend you're enjoying this exercise. A little bit painful. Some people can only get up to here. Some people can only go halfway. But that's okay. <laughs> Change sides. Cross over. You open up your legs far wide apart as you can. And we go slowly, slowly down. That's okay. You can stop there. Or you can keep going further and further and further till you sit down. Because the more flexible you become, further you'll be able to go down. Does that feel good? All right, we're coming up. Bring your leg up. I want you to cross the one leg over and push your body weight forward. And there's another stretch for that same area. Hold it there for a few more counts. Two more counts. That's the way. Now change legs. Here we go. So you cross it over and push your body weight forward. Now you might have to lift your butt off the ground to push your body weight forward. That's okay. Feeling that stretch, Mia? Yeah, it feels good, doesn't it? Now, working through the quads, because this was partly complete leg workout, rolling onto your side, push your knees right back behind you, push your hips forward. I want you to be able to feel the stretch all the way along the front of your thigh. Push your knee, your hips forward and your knee right back. Hold it there for just a few more counts for me. And let's change sides. Go the other side, all the way. That's the way. Knee right back, hips forward. Yes, we went back quads when we did those lunges on the squats. Do we remember that? All the way right at the beginning of our section. Hold it there. And change sides. Cross over, both legs straight out in front, cross one leg over. Lift your body up tall and lean forward. The great thing about our, our exercises that we did today is that you don't need a gym to do them. You don't even need much space to do the exercises in. You can do them in the comfort of your own living room, at home, in the bedroom, wherever. As long as there's not too many people around, they're going to laugh at you. So not in the shopping centre, pretty much anywhere. So if you go away on holiday, write these exercises down and these are things that you can do to stay firm and toned all the way through your holiday. So if you're travelling around Europe and you're thinking, oh my goodness, what can I do? Simple things like this throughout the day are going to help to stay firm, trim and in shape for as long as you live. Just keep it up. Holding that stretch. And bringing your knees up, we're going to look behind us, have a look at the beautiful view that we have. We're at Collaroy Beach today. It's just off Pitwater Road. We have a lovely lady there that's just probably gone for a good swim. There's a swimming path bath just, just behind us and hopefully all of us are going to go for a swim after this show. Is that right? Chain sides. There you go. Looking behind you as far as you can go, we've got the surfers out behind us as well. 
What a beautiful day here in Sydney. Both looking straight ahead, lean out as far as you can and stretch out. Hold that stretch and change sides. Other way, try and get out as far as you can go. Filling it all the way through the torso, lengthening up to the ceiling. And now let's roll onto our knees. We're going to slowly, slowly roll up and you're going to come up last. You ready? All the way up, bring your head up last. And then when you get to the top, release the muscles through your lower back. So turn, turn, turn. Pull your abdominals in. Turn and turn and turn. Four more counts. Turn it a little bit more and make sure you're using the knees as well, just not just the hips. Two more. Oh, one more time. And step to the side. And as you step to the side, reach out nice and far. Imagine you're touching the sky, that beautiful blue sky that we have today. Reach as high as you can towards it. And change sides. Other way, reach out as far as you can go and touch the sky. Now stretching your muscles all the way through the back, all the way through the spine. All I want you to do is look all the way down. Now don't look at the TV. Look straight down. Feel that stretch running through the spine. Relax your shoulders. Now slowly roll up. That's the way and roll the shoulders. All the way back. Big shoulder rolls are going to release all those muscles through the neck and the back. And roll forward. Doesn't that feel good? There you go. Yeah, it feels good, doesn't it? That's the way. Shake out all the muscles that you've worked today. And guess what? It's over again. What a great show we had today. Please keep up the good work. Keep working those muscles. We'll see you soon on Aerobics Hostel. Take care.